Hey guys, it's me Jen and today is the long-awaited Korean beauty haul review It took me a while to edit this because I wanted to film my first impressions of the products And so that took me a while because I didn't want to try out all these products on the same day Because I felt like that would totally overload my skin and I'd probably break out So I spaced it out in a span of maybe two weeks So I feel like I have a good impression of all these products. So let's get started the first batch of cosmetics I'm going to be talking about is a brand called Too Cool For School and I feel like that name really fits them because their products are just too cool. <laughs> so the first product I'll be talking about is their CC cream. This is called Cinema City and it's part of their Dinoplats collection. And uh, the packaging is really neat because there is a option to use a blush on top. This is just a coral creamy blush but to be honest I'm not gonna be using much of it because I don't really like cream blushes I prefer it in powder form so this guy is probably not gonna get it that much love and when you twist off the cap that's where the CC cream comes out and the CC cream is a complexion correcting cream and it's just kind of like an all-in-one makeup and skincare thing there is SPF in here there is a moisturizer in here and it's supposed to have anti-aging properties so just goodness on your face which is always a plus. It only comes in one shade, which is definitely limiting. If I got any tanner, I wouldn't be able to use this because um, it's just a little bit too pale. Next up, I have a lip crayon. This is called Lost Identity, and don't let the green in the tube fool you because it actually turns into a beautiful, soft, glossy pink once it hits your body temperature. Like, the heat makes it into pink, so. Science! Very cool! And because it's a lip tint, it's not cakey at all. It has long lasting power and it's just a really easy, low maintenance lip product. And I like it. Next up, I have their egg cream mask. And I'm not gonna lie, this one is pretty slimy and very messy. Um, but it's all good because your skin feels amazing afterwards. This sheet mask adds moisture and brightens up your skin with the egg yolk extract. And before you apply it, make sure you take off this plastic gauze thing off. It's pretty spiky. Stephanie told me that when she opened this, she thought that the gauze was meant to be on her face too. So she ended up scratching a little part of her face. So yeah, don't hurt yourself. Take off that plastic gauze. It's it's all good. So this is also part of that egg collection. This is the egg mousse pack and this was definitely the most unique mask I've ever put on. It's really interesting because it comes out in a mousse formula. It's very strange. So you apply maybe like a ping pong size amount and then you just massage it into your face and the texture feels exactly like mousse, literally. It feels like you're about to shave your face or something. You let the mousse absorb into your skin for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then the product should draw out sebum and impurities and by the end of the session the mousse will have evaporated and so you just have this really translucent glossy sticky type mask left and then you just rinse that off and after I felt like my skin was a lot tighter and just brighter it just felt good you know you know that feeling after you do a mask your skin just feels just very rejuvenated. My next product is a contouring powder and this is used to chisel and sculpt the face, make the cheekbones really pop out. So when you open it, there is a little trio, there is a light, medium, dark, but I like to just use all three. I swoosh my contouring brush and I just apply it to the hollows of my cheeks. And the formula is quite light, there's a lot less room for mistakes that way. I mean, I really don't like highly pigmented contouring powders because I feel like I just look like I have dirt smeared on my face because I don't know how to ration it. So I like guys like this where you can just slowly build up. My last Too Cool For School item is their Perfect Day Makeup Fixer and this is just a setting spray. You're supposed to apply it after you've finished your makeup look and it's supposed to lock it in place and this is amazing for humid weather. And also the packaging is so cute. There is a bunch of little dots on the front and I guess that's supposed to symbolize the mist that comes out of it. And it's a very fine mist so it's very cooling and I don't know, I just feel really good when I use it. It feels very luxurious. The next items are from a brand called Vanilla Co and this is actually the first time I've ever heard of this brand but I've heard a lot of good things about them when I was in Korea so I decided to give them a try. They're known for their skincare products and their CC cream but the funny thing is I didn't get their CC cream because I thought that the one that I got at Too Cool for School would be enough so I ended up just getting some other bits. <laughs> 
Sheet masks are a huge deal in Korea, so I decided to get some interesting ones. This is their lace hydrogel mask sheet, and it's kind of like a gel consistency with a lace design over it. I left the mask on for around 20 minutes, but it says on the back you can leave it on for 40 minutes. But um, yeah, I guess that really depends on you and how much time you have. But I found that the lifting one, I felt like a tingling sensation all around my face, and it's not like a scary tingling, it's not painful at all. It's just a sensation, so I thought I would put that out there. Uh, after I took it off, my face felt firm and just good. Um, I want to get the lifting one again because I only have the moisturizing one left now. I got some eyeshadow from them. This is their quad called Lumiere, and the packaging is very questionable. Like, what is going on here? This is like snowflakes on there. I don't know, maybe it's part of their winter collection. But either way, the colors on this are so beautiful. There are four shades. One is a beautiful rose gold, which I apply to the inners of my eyes. This gold and this bronze are really good for just the lid. And this darker iridescent one is just used for more depth. Um, you could probably just get away with just bringing this palette if you're traveling and you want to be a lot more minimal with your makeup. Lastly, I got their famous cleansing balm. This is called Clean It Zero. And cleansing balms are a new thing for me and I think I really love it because I like, I think I prefer using a cleansing balm as opposed to using just a makeup wipe because I feel like a lot gets left behind with a makeup wipe. This guy, really melts off all your makeup. So when you open it, it comes with a little spoony guy so you can stay hygienic and just grab what you need. And then on just like your full cakey makeup face, you just apply it and the balm dissolves into this kind of silky, oily texture. And then it just melts away all your makeup. Even my waterproof mascara, which I thought was very impressive. And even though this balm does a really great job removing all the makeup, I just love to double cleanse. So I go in a second time with just my normal SK2 daily cleanser and then I'll wipe off my face like that and I feel like my face is super clean and this is just a really great addition to my skincare routine. The last batch of items comes from a brand called Skin Food and I've actually used their products before. I used their makeup wipes and I used a scrub before and I really enjoyed it so I decided to go in the store and deck myself out. And I really like how all their products circle back into food that has good properties for the skin. I've been in need of an exfoliator for quite some time. I think before I bought this, the last time I exfoliated my face was maybe six months ago, so the beginning of the year. So I definitely needed this. This is their Black Sugar Mask Wash Off, and this is probably one of their best sellers. And this is a scrub and mask fusion. It comes in this really interesting brown looking paste, and I apply it onto damp skin, and I just kind of massage it gently, avoiding my eyes, because that would be very painful if it got into the eyes. And I leave it on for 10 minutes and I felt like my face felt a lot softer, more polished, especially because I just basically scraped off all the dead skin on my face and it just felt a lot softer. I'm definitely going to be using this at least once a week. Next up, I got a sunscreen. This is the Tomato Cool and Dry Sun Spray with SPS 50 and I absolutely love this sunscreen for many reasons. First off, it comes in a can. I like when it comes in a can because it's just easy to get all the nooks and crannies of your body solo. Secondly, when you apply this, there is like an immediate cooling sensation on your body, which I thought was so tight. So when you're in a really hot and humid environment, spraying this is going to be such a relief. So um, that's going to be really good if I'm at a very hot music festival next time. And lastly, it dries matte. So most of the times when you're adding sunscreen, I feel like kind of like a greased up wrestler or a greased up pig or something. No, not with this guy. This dries matte, dries very fast, and it has great sun protection. What more can you want? And no, it doesn't smell like tomato. Um, it just kind of has like a clean, hygienic scent. It smells like my mom. Alright folks, so that is a wrap. I hope you found this video very informative. I'm going to be using these products over the next couple of months to see which ones are my favorite and which ones are here to stay. And yeah, I feel like there are so many other cream products that I didn't get to explore, like brands like Innisfree or The Face Shop. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, but um, there's always my next Korea trip. So uh, yeah, I thought three brands in this video would be enough. If you like the video, hit the like button and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!